Okay, so we're in the Azure GitHub link here, github.com slash PowerShell. And we're going to download the PowerShell 6.2. In my particular case, it's the Win64 version with the MSI extension. So that's the version I'm choosing to install. There's all sorts of operating systems available, including Ubuntu. Um, you can even download the source code if you want to download and install it. So I've downloaded that and I've started the setup and I'm going to click next. Now I install my programs on the D drive. And so I'm going to change the, the path here for the PowerShell. Click in, click next. Now it does come up with some options. We're not going to change them. Um, I'm not going to, um, I'm going to allow it to add PowerShell to the path environment. I'm going to register Windows event logs so that if PowerShell has errors, it goes to event logging. And I'm not going to enable remoting. I'm not going to enable the context sensitive menus for Explorer, although that could be cool sometimes, but we don't need that. I'm just going to leave the defaults. Now I'm going to click install. I do need administrative privileges, as you saw with that little symbol. And so it's going to set, it's going to run the setup here. And so it's going to run, uh, it's actually pretty quick to install um, PowerShell. Okay, I and mean, that took only about 20, 20 seconds or so. Uh, that's finished. Now, I could have had it start PowerShell, but I'm going to show you. You go down to the Windows menu in the case of Windows. Actually, PowerShell is right at the top. It says recently added. I could search for it, of course. Now, we want to run this in administrator mode. So I'm going to right click on this, go into more, and say run as administrator. Um, so remember, because in order to install the AZ modules, I do need administrative mode. It's going to pop up and ask me to approve that, and I did. Um, now we're in administrative mode. Now I need to, do need to change the font here, since it's the first time it's running, so that you can see what I'm typing. Hopefully that's a little bit better. Um, you can see it does say PowerShell 6.2.1, but let's go get the command for um, PowerShell version. Now I'm a look. Sometimes I'm a little bit lazy. I'll I'll just go to Google really quick and get get PowerShell version. Grab the first result, copy that. Go back to PowerShell. Use Shift Insert to paste, and that'll show me that it's running 6.2.1. You can also see at the top it does say 6.2.1. The other thing I should point out is that the word administrator is in the Windows title. So that's how we know we're running it in admin mode um, if we've forgotten whether we started it in admin mode or not. Now we need to install the, the module. Um, now remember from the last video, it's install dash module hyphen name az hyphen allow clobber. Now the allow clobber is what's going to allow it to overwrite if it does need to update any of my system DLLs or any kind of updates to existing files, this allow clobber is going to allow it to do that. I click enter. Now it does require admin access as well. And so I approve it. Now it says that it's installing modules from untrusted repository. So I'm going to allow it to install all the modules, all the modules it needs to by saying, A, you do need to trust that the PowerShell gallery is a valid repository. Now, this will be pretty quick as well. So we're going to let it install. You can see it's downloading each individual package and there's a couple of dozen of them, but it's in, I'm on a very fast internet speed here. And so it's doing it pretty quick. So I'm going to let that run. I'll speed it up for you and we can, uh, less than 60 seconds, it'll be done. Right. So that's it. It's installed PowerShell uh, AZ module. And so how are we going to check that it worked? Now, there's a couple of different ways. There is actually a command to list modules and we can search for the name AZ. But I'm just going to call one of the commands that I know. So get hyphen AZ VM should return me a list of all VMs. But that's not going to work unless I log in to Azure. So I'm going to hit enter. It's going to give me an error message. It says you have to connect to Azure. And so if I run the connect command, that's another way of validating that the AZ module, AZ account, I do need to go to a web browser in order to sign into my account. And then if I do that with the right code, it should work. So we know that the AZ module successfully uh, worked because it's recognizing the commands. It's not saying command not found. 
So that's how you download a PowerShell core. That's how you install the AZ module. And we basically consider this success.